morning mix on a Thursday morning. Beautiful now, but the rain is on the way. That Boston Ballet is tossing their tutus aside in exchange for something a little more edgy in a new production that is rocking the stage with a little help from the Rolling Stones. Joining us now live, Kirsten Fentroy, a principal dancer with the Boston Ballet. Kirsten, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So how long have you been with the company? I am in my sixth season with Boston Ballet, so wow. I've been here for about five and a half years. Tell us about this new sort of twist with the rock and roll show in the Rolling Stones. Tell us about it. Yeah, um, it's a part of a program called My Obsession, um, where there are two ballets by a legendary choreographer, George Balanchine. Um, there's a ballet by a woman named Helen Pickett, and then there's the one by Stephen Galloway, which is to the Rolling Stones. And it is really exciting, high energy, super fun. It's not your, your typical night at the ballet. How does this compare with your classical training and some of the other shows you've done in the past? Um, I think what really differs, what makes this program different from others is that you're, we're dancing to music that we're familiar with, you know? So we're taking this like classical technique that we've been working on for our whole lives and we're dancing to things that we hear on the radio or grew up listening to or, you know, and so I think there's audience engagement in that sense too because they can relate to that as well. Who is this show for? What should people expect? I mean, you're just looking at these images, it just looks <laughs> wow. so different than the typical classic ballet that you might expect. It looks so awesome. I think it's for everyone. I mean, this is really like people's music, right? Um, and the, the costumes are so glamorous, so I feel like there's, there's a taste of fashion, there's a taste of high energy, there's a taste of music, you know? Um, I really think it's for anyone, any audience. This must have been fun for you to do, to get out of that comfort zone a little bit, take <laughs> off the tutu and not necessarily be this this idea of elegance or whatever, to get a little... Uh... I get to wear rhinestones on my yeah, face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's really fun. Um, the costumes are incredible, like covered in sparkles. There's like rhinestones on the sleeves. It's amazing. Uh, you got to work with the Stones' former creative movement director. What was that like? Yeah, Stephen Galloway is his name and it was amazing. He's just such a cool human, um, really relatable in the studio, um, was really interested in collaborating with the dancers, so interested in what we wanted to, to do, how we wanted to move, and, and just his energy in the room was just very, like, cool. So he would just, like, hit poses randomly in the <laughs> studio, and yeah, he was really great. And what has it been like for you, this big change, doing in the performance and with the music and everything? Is it, is it, is it a bit interesting and exciting? <laughs> yeah, it's been super exciting. I mean, I, it changes the energy of the audience because mm. sometimes they like clap along with the music or they'll get up and dance and and it's just you feel the energy it's like palpable yeah you, know? you, you say you have moves like Jagger <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about Jagger but <laughs> oh awesome Kirsten, thank you so much for joining us today so the performances run through October 16th so there's still time to catch it